Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches, and of course we're going to talk about the new Omega Speedmaster release today. But of course, before we get started, Happy New Year to everybody, and today I'm wearing my Breguet Marine Big Date, absolutely adore it, and we got a bunch of new watches at DelrayWatch.com. We got in a Breitling uh, Super Ocean Heritage 2, Blue on blue on the mesh bracelet. We got in a very rare Blancpain 50 Fathoms Mil Spec 4 Hodinky, least expensive one on the market at the moment. And we got a sapphire cased Skeleton Krieger, a watch I'm actually going to do a video on because it's so damn interesting. I've never seen one before uh, in my in my hand before I bought this one. All that. Uh, and more on DelrayWatch.com, but let's talk about the Omega Speedmaster release. Coming right up. Alright guys, so as everybody knew, the new Speedmaster was released uh, today. Front page of Hadinki, a blog to watch, Watch Pro. Made a video about this, uh, I'd say about a month ago, showing images that leaked of potential changes uh, to the Speedy Pro. And it looks like those images were pretty darn accurate for the most part. So first I'm going to talk about what changes happened um, from the 1861 Speedmaster to the 3861 Speedmaster. And then I'm going to show you the differences between the normal Speedmaster and the Speedmaster Sapphire Sandwich, because while those two models used to be the same, they no longer are. There are a few subtle differences that Omega has made uh, to kind of differentiate the two models. So, I've got the differences here. Let's talk about them. So the first change is obviously a change from caliber 1861 uh, to 3861. This adds a coaxial silicon escapement and a Metas Master Chronometer Certification. We could see this from a long time coming. I believe Omega's lineup is pretty much uh, all uh, coaxial at this time, and Metas is their in-house chronometer certificate. Everybody knew this was going to happen. Next, we have the vintage-inspired bezel with dot over 90. Very tiny change, but, you know, once again, it was shown in those leaked photographs. We've got a stepped dial harkening back to the reference 105.012, which was used on the moon. Uh, once again, also shown in the images from a, from a month ago, the new step dial gives the dial a little bit of depth. I actually quite like it. The new bracelet design, which is basically the same as the 50th anniversary moonshine bracelet, uh, but in steel, obviously. The clasp has a two-button release. Um, and a limited edition kind of, and it looks like the limited edition moonshine clasp, kind of cool. This is interesting. The outer second subtract, the divisions, are now calibrated to a 21,600 beat rate uh, movement. So actually, on the old Speedy, it was still calibrated to the 321 movement, um, which, you know, uh, was a slower beat rate. So actually, the outer track did not line up with the second hand. Now it does. There's more uh, marks on the outer track to line up more with the modern beat rate. And now the pushers are more stepped, showing more of an indent. Very, very subtle. Guys, overall, these are very subtle changes. The untrained eye wouldn't really be able to tell the difference between the two, um, but I tried to be as thorough as possible. Also, the new price is $6,300 on a bracelet. That's under a $1,000 uh, price increase, but I think considering the new movement, the updated buckle, uh, and of course the dial, I do think it is absolutely worth it. However, now this is interesting. Back uh, in the previous generation, the one that was just discontinued, the Sapphire Sandwich was exactly the same as the Speedmaster Professional, apart from the Sapphire Case back, uh, a slight change in movement to basically change uh, one part, but everything else, the bracelet, the dial, um, you know, they were identical models. Now I'm going to tell you the differences between the two. The Hesselite 
has a printed logo, while the Sapphire has an applied logo. So a slightly more premium dial, it appears, on the Sapphire Sandwich. The bracelet is polished and brushed on the Sapphire Sandwich, whereas the bracelet is all brushed on the Hesolite. Once again, slight little change there. Um, and the strap version comes on calf, whereas the strap uh, on the Sapphire Sandwich, whereas the strap version of the Hesolite Speedy comes on fabric, kind of like the 2015 Silver Snoopy. The Sapphire Sandwich is $7,150. Once again, about uh, you know under a $1,000 difference, but you get the applied logo, the more finished bracelet, and of course, the Sapphire case back. That is the rundown of the new Speedmaster that was just released. How hard it's going to be to get, I'm not sure, but these are regular production models, so I think once the rush is done in the beginning, should be a fairly easy thing to pick up. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Hope you speedy lovers are excited by this new announcement. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please comment below. Let me know what you think of the new Speedmaster, and don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.